Continuing with statistics, now we're going to use the dot plot and we're going to see if we can find mode from a dot plot first. Mode. The definition of mode is that it, the mode is the most frequent value. So let's take a look at this first list. We have 8, 20, 3, 14, 8, 19, 6, 8, and 20. The mode will be 8 because 8 occurs three times and nothing else occurs more than once. Therefore, 8 is the most frequent value. That's the mode. Look at this second one. 8, 14, 8, 20, 14, 20, 6, 6, 28. This time, there are two modes. 8 occurs three times. 20 also occurs three times. Therefore, this has two modes. 8 and 20. This is called bimodal. Bi meaning two, modal meaning two modes. Got it? This third example, 8, 14, 8, 20, 14, 20, 6, 6. Everything here occurs two times. Nothing has any more frequency than anything else. This set of data has no mode. Do you understand the concept of mode? Okay, let's move on to using it in a dot plot. Here's our first dot plot. Well, the number 10 occurs three times. The number 15, two times. The number 20, once. 30 occurs three times. 40 occurs four times. And 45 occurs twice. The mode is 40. It's the simplest thing in the world when you have a dot plot. The mode is the number that has the most dots. Most dots equals mode. The mode in this case is 40. For some reason the O's aren't writing correctly. So that's how you do mode for a dot plot. Let's take a look at this one. Which one has the most dots? This one and this one. So this is a bimodal. 40 is one of them. What's the other one? Well, it's right here, halfway between 80 and 90. Halfway between 80 and 90. What's that value? 85. So these are both modes. 40 and 85 are the modes for this data set. And that's how easy it is to find mode.